Okay, uh, this is called um, Bedtime Prayer for Wallflowers or A Coney Island of the Behind. <laughs> the problem with the Jew is he's got his tongue up the black man's ass, he says to his fellow knights of the Formica Square table, holding court in the now long gone Brighton Dairy over chopped herring and whitefish sandwiches, kasha vanishkis, half sour pickles, potato and luxon kugel, carrot pan. Cakes, spinach, canicious, cheese blintzes, Dr. Brown's black cherry cream and celery soda, burping his philosophy for everyone else in the restaurant to hear. <laughs> Except maybe the little lonely old lady, buttered pumpernickel in her left hand, a soup spoon in her right. If I wouldn't have a bowel, if I wouldn't have a bowl of the cabbage soup today, I wouldn't have a bowel movement for a month, little fugitive, little laughing girl in a wheelchair, little gorilla in a meadow picking flowers, man asleep on a bench on the boardwalk. Baking in the sun for God knows how many alcoholic hours. His head snapped back, hanging on for dear life, like the dangling like the loose loose button on a on a thread from my vintage corduroy coat, like the like the um, 91 year old Wonder Wheels red swinging car coming around behind him. King Oliver's Creole jazz band blowing sovereign blues in Lil Hardin's ear from the top of the cyclone's first and highest hill. I see whales and dolphins dying in the distance. I see people feeding plastic to the ocean down here. I see Rabbi Heschel and Reverend Dr. King marching from Selma to Montgomery arm in arm. I see Black Jack Johnson and Jewish Joe Choinsky together in the ring, laughing and sparring, falling exhausted into each other's arms. I see intricately crafted, exquisite old buildings throbbing with history and zany pent-up lust. I see a ghostly figure in an empty lot. I see a bulldozer emerging from a cloud of dust. Vic Chestnut, you were born exactly one year before me. And just when I realize how much I need you, your wheelchair sits shiver for you with an empty stair rusting in the sand. And I can't even afford a box of bakka to bring or sponge cake or you don't even have one ruggler in my hand. But I'm gonna form my own rock and roll band. I'll call it Hecky Brown and the Blacklisted, AKA Herschel Bronstein and the Blacklisted. <laughs> Zero Mastel, my witch-hunted Moshiach from the front. Instead of a yarmulke, you have that crazy greasy comb over, anointed with sweaty, <laughs> funny unction. Victor Jara sings Venceremos as terrorist Henry Kissinger tortures and kills him without an ounce of compassion or compunction. Paul Robeson sings Hirsch Glick's Warsaw Ghetto Insurrection Song, Zagnit Kainmal in Yiddish as gangster Roy Cohn confiscates his passport. Langston Hughes dreams that's in cigarette smoke. Chief Justice, Chief Joseph listens to the space between the lines because that's the place where the truth once spoke. African painted wildflower sniffing black panther toucan pelican jumping hare cockatoo turtle lizard frogfish monkey jungle river card given to me by Yukio Fujimi. Now maybe lost somewhere in the tsunami, hanging on for dear life to R. Crumb's big ass mermaid mommy, blown up rubber raft eyeball explosion, bikini line waxing causes beach erosion. Listen to the elephants, they always know. I'm still griping about not having free time to do my writing. Mumia's still typing from deep on death row. Yukio Fujimi, my first friend in college, anthropology major visiting from Tokyo to study abroad or two. I played him Springsteen's <laughs> Wild Billy Circus story. He made me wild tea for Sakura Mitsuri. Horn rim glasses, short and bald at 25. He learned how to speak English by watching Woody Allen movies while growing up in Japan, which made him sound like the love child of Toshiro Mufuni and Fielding Mellish. <laughs> I object, Your Honor. This trial is a travesty. It's, it's a travesty of a, of a mockery of a sham. Of, you know, of, of a mockery of a travesty of two mockeries of a sham. <laughs> to which I followed with my final summation. Fellas, I don't recognize the, the right of this committee to ask these kind of questions. And you know, furthermore, you can all go fuck yourselves. <laughs> you show me your Woody and I'll show you mine. <laughs> Alone in my room. 27 years later, rereading the blue pen script handwriting in that colorful card he brought back from Africa to inseminate my imagination. Dear Maikero, congratulations on acting on your first show here in Onionta. I believe in the future you will be the greatest artist. Believe in your own natural gift. I hope we will remain friends forever.
Ralph Yukio. I never saw him again after that freshman year. Where am I now that the future is here? Where is he? I hope he's still alive as I look at all the dead people on my wall eyeing each other suspiciously across their postcard borders because a startling stench is stinking up the air, seeming to silently appear from out of nowhere, when suddenly they all turn their gaze back on me. So I quickly turn out the light and hide under the blanket in the dark. Trapped in my own gas. Gotta stay completely covered though, so no one in the world will ever know. Except Allen Ginsberg, who's lurking by my bed. Tony Morrison's Bacola howling in my head. Save me, Patty Smith, with your armpit hair. It's Easter and I need to come up for air. Let me suck your see-through t-shirt tit. Rock me to sleep, sweet holy, 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 holy mother fucking shit. Good night. <laughs>